A free plugin you can use in GarageBand that has a compressor, an expander, and this really cool visual layout. It's the Dynamics Processor. It's super cool. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's go. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. If you'd like to learn a heap more, there are other videos linked in the description. To add the Dynamics Processor, select a track, tap on the Mixer icon, and then tap on Plugins and EQ. Hit the Edit button, find an empty slot, and hit the green plus button. Now, go over to Audio Unit Extensions, scroll all the way down until you get to these white Apple plugins, and then tap on Dynamics Processor. Hit Done, and then to access the settings, tap on the little Apple icon. If you don't see these white Apple plugins at the bottom of your audio unit extensions, check out the other video linked in the description for instructions on how to add these in. Let's take a look at how this plugin works. We're going to solo this lead vocal track and then tap on the icon to jump in. Now, as I mentioned before, this has both a compressor and an expander. So what I'm first going to do is turn off the regular compressor because we're going to use this one, the Dynamics Processor, instead. I've also disabled the noise gate because the expander works as a kind of noise gate itself. Let's get a base baseline on this track by turning off the plugin and hitting play. Life is long and you have much time. Now let's turn the plugin back on and jump in and show you all of the settings. Let's start with the compressor. You have your threshold setting, which is this dot here. You can bring it down by dragging to the left or bring it up by dragging to the right. Your headroom is basically like the ratio on most compressors. If you pull this all the way down, the headroom goes to 0.1 dB and that will give you a very high ratio. And if you bring it up, it's going to be more like a lower ratio. So that's your compression settings there. You've also got attack and release. Attack is how quickly the compressor will kick in and release is how quickly the compressor will stop once it goes below that threshold. If you want to learn more about compression, check out the other videos that are also right here on the channel. Let's play this vocal and we're going to drag down the threshold and show you what happens when we compress this track. Life is long and you have much time. You're in a rush and you don't know why. So as we pull down the threshold, you'll see that little triangle is jumping up there and we get a little red section there. And you might be thinking at this point, doesn't compression make things louder? Well, no, it actually reduces the high volume sounds, but that's where our master gain comes in. We now need to turn up that master gain and that's similar to a major makeup gain you might see on other compressor plugins. Now, but you doubt your talent and you don't know how. And why I love this plugin so much is as you could see there, you can really visualize how much is being compressed. So you can drive your threshold down and see the actual result of how much of that top end is actually being pushed down. And then you can use your makeup gain to bring it back up all the while checking it out on your output level. Look around at what others do. Think it's easy, so why not you? Over on the left, we have the expander. This works in a similar way, but in reverse. This is actually going to reduce the volume of our quieter sounds. It works in a similar way to a noise gate, if you're familiar with that. So this one here is our expansion threshold, and then this is the expansion ratio. So when we turn this up, it's actually going to reduce our lower sounds. Let's take a look at it in action. Do when you're gonna have to fight all. Hold on, hold on. Now at this point, it's really not doing anything because the volume of the track is not dropping below this bottom threshold. So let's bring that threshold up just so that you can see where this might be useful. Now, every time the vocal drops below a certain level, you'll see it actually removing or reducing the volume there. Let's take a listen. Hold on, cause it's gonna be a long, long time. So this can be great for breath removal and removing any of those little background noises and clicks and pops that you don't want in your final track. So uh, a plugin that has both a compressor and an expander and it's built in to iOS, that's pretty rad. And you can of course use this on guitars and drums and keys and any other track where you can add a plugin, which is every track here in GarageBand. It's also compatible with Logic Pro and any other app that you use on iOS. And last but not least, we also have presets. So if you tap in the bottom left there, you'll see that we've got different presets for setting light, medium or hard gates or fast and smooth, hard and light. So if we tap on this one, you can see that it's going to add a gate, which is like a noise gate to the bottom end of the track. There you have it, the Dynamics Processor, a very handy plugin to put in your arsenal. If you'd like to learn a whole heap more about all the other plugins, check out the rest of the videos linked in the description and I'll see you next time.